Facebook is an idealistic and optimistic company. For most of our existence, we focused on all the good that connecting people can bring. And as Facebook has grown, people everywhere have gotten a powerful new tool for staying connected to the people they care about most, for making their voices heard, and for building community and businesses. Just recently, we've seen the Me Too movement and the March for Our Lives organized at least part on Facebook. After Hurricane Harvey, people came together and raised more than $20 million for relief. And there are more than 70 million small businesses around the world that use our tools to grow and create jobs. But it's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, foreign interference in elections, and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. It was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and at the end of the day, I'm responsible for what happens here. Uh, you know, you have a, a long history of growth and, and success, but you also have a long list of apologies. In 2003, it started at Harvard. I apologize for any harm done as a result of my neglect, 2006. We really messed this one up, 2007. We simply did a bad job. I apologize for it. 2010, sometimes we move too fast, 2011. I'm the first to admit that, we're made, that we've made a bunch of mistakes. 2017, this is in, in connection with the Russian manipulation of the election um, and um, the data that uh, was, uh, came from Facebook initially. Um, I, am, uh, I ask for forgiveness. I will work to do better. Um, so it seems to me from this history that self-regulation, this is proof to me, that self-regulation simply does not work. Um, I have a, a bill, the um, Secure and Protect Americans Data Act, that I hope you will take a, a look at. Very simple bill about setting standards for how you have to make sure that the data is protected, deadlines on when you have to release that information to the, uh, the public. Certainly, it ought to go to the FTC uh, as well. You said yesterday that Kogan also sold data to other firms. Um, you named Unoya um, Technologies. How many are there total, and what are their names? Can we get that? And how many are, total, are there total? Congresswoman, we can follow up with you to make sure that you get all that information. Yeah, but uh, order of magnitude. I don't believe it was a large number. But as we complete the audits, we will know more. What's a large number? A handful. Um, has Facebook tried to get those firms to delete user data and its derivatives? Yes, Congresswoman. In 2015, when we first learned about it, we immediately demanded that uh, the app developer and the firms that he sold it to delete the data. And they all represented us that they had. It wasn't until about a month ago that new reports surfaced that suggested that they hadn't, uh, which is what has, has kicked off us uh, needing to now go do this full audit and investigation and investigate all these other apps that, that have come up. And were derivatives deleted? Congresswoman, we need to complete the investigation and audit before I can confirm that. You are looking at derivatives. What they represented to us is that they have, but we need to now get into their systems and confirm that before I want to uh, stand up here confidently and say what they've done. So, uh, Mr. Green asked about the general data um, protection regulation on May 25th that's going to go into effect by the EU. And um, your response um, was, uh, let me ask, is your response that exactly the protections that are guaranteed, um, not the, what did he say? Yeah, not, not the, just the controls but all the rights that are guaranteed under the general data protection uh, regulations will be applied to Americans as well? Congresswoman, the GDPR has a bunch of different important pieces. One is around offering controls over specific, over every use of people's right, data. Right, that's one. Uh -huh. That we're doing. The second is around um, pushing for uh, affirmative consent and putting a control in front of people that walks people through their, their choices. Exactly. We're going to do that too. 
The second, although that might be different depending on the laws in specific countries and different places, but we're gonna put a tool at the top of everyone's app that walks them through their settings and, and um, helps them understand what is It sounds on. like it will not be exact. And let me say, as we look at um, the distribution time. of information, that who's gonna protect us from Facebook is also a question.